Hocus, that's true. Hocus. You kind of got one of the hardest jobs, like outside of the quarterback on the field. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One yeah. of the hardest jobs outside of the quarterback? Mm-hmm. You heard that, Coley? This is how many mistakes I had. Look, all my hair gone. <laughs> that's a lot of mistakes, man. <laughs> <right? laughs> This is a pretty good week. We already had a potential um, top five pick, and now we have Devin Witherspoon, a young corner. from. He's from Pensacola, Florida, but he played at the Illa, uh, University of Illinois. A fantastic corner. I did my breakdown. On Devin, How, what did you think about my breakdown? Did you, did you like it? Did I miss anything? Did I nah. leave things out? Uh, nah, I messed with it for sure. Nah, I respect yeah. it for sure. Okay, okay. You, you, was there anything maybe I, I I shortchanged you on? If so, I apologize. Didn't mean to. You know, it's received. Nah, nah, you, you can't be G. That's, that's how we do it. So, yeah, everything, yeah. everything. Sure. Yeah, I, it was one of, the, one of the things I thought it was really interesting about uh, doing your research just playing wise was it was talked about uh you know you only had one year you know of premier status and i just find it i find it mind boggling that we will talk about people coming out too early but then you have a it, it, you know you got a a player in your case where you've developed and got better each and every year and i would say the more you've stayed in college, your game has matured to the point of where I, I believe that you're the most complete mentally and physically corner in this year's draft. What does Witherspoon say? Yeah, no, nah, I, I can agree. Um, over the years, I just got better every, every, every year. Um, just stayed down and kept grinding, just kept working on my craft for real. So uh, it, just took, it took me longer than everybody else, which I don't, I don't really complain about. Um, mm-hmm. I'm glad that I did what I did. I'm glad that I stayed all four years because I, I was able to develop and, um, you know, just be ready now to move on to my next career. So, Take us through your story. Take us through your journey, right? Because everybody that's watching either this podcast or when they watch you get drafted, they're going to be doing so much research on who is this kid? Who is this individual? So give people an opportunity before we run this to get, give them the story that and the narrative you want them to know about you. Now, I played football like in Pop Warner for real. But, um, what position? I, I played running back, corner, safety. Um, yeah, those three. You never play wide receiver. Why is that? Is that because you couldn't catch? Which was nah, it just wide, wide receiver won my flavor, man. That, that's just what we call we call wide receiver pretty boys, man. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, th- oh, thank you for talking about me. Yeah, what you. an insult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> boy, 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 so man. So, <laughs> hey, nah, did you, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> did, you, did you just did you just slide that in there and say we saw? What? Yeah, I, w- I wanted to see how you were gonna react to that. You know? <laughs> yeah. Man, I don't know. Should I be offended? Should I tear off my sweatshirt? Right? Like, uh, I, now, you, are you referring to soft like a how you talked to Trey Palmer's uh, soft? Or are you talking like which 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 soft guy are you referring to? Nah, I mean, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's that's the elite backpedaling you uh, see on oh, tape yeah, too. Oh yeah, yeah. That's ooh, he transitioned quick, boy. He turned his hips. Yeah. Hey, what what I say? He turns his hip when he sees it. He believes it. He will destroy it. He said, "I, I said that Trey Trey Palmer." He said, "Oh uh-uh, no no." Mm-mm. Right. I I, yeah. I go ahead. I I know you love to talk mess, man. Tell us about that, like. Uh, Cause I, I I hear you love. I'm talking about infatuated with a little mm. bit of uh, uh, chatter. I like to chit chat. Yeah. Uh, now I just feel like the game should be played with emotion for real. Like, Absolutely. you know, just express express how you feel out there on the field. Like, this is really what you love to do. Like, you're gonna show a lot of passion, a lot of emotion for. Um, so that's just why I, 
I really like to talk a little, talk a little smack. You feel me? Cause um, it's just fun. Just let me know I'm going out there having fun. Just let me, let me be who I am. So, so how does a guy from Pensacola, Florida, adapt to playing in one of the coldest places you've ever been? <laughs> nah, it, um, it was tough though at first. Um, my first uh year or two, like it was, it, it was real tough. But then, like, really, when you out there on the field, you really don't feel it for real. Like when you during the play, you just be so locked in, like you really forget that it's cold. But like, um, when you come back to that sideline though, you, you, you it remind you, oh, that TV time by it's, it's yeah. gonna remind, you gonna remind you with with the info. But um, it was it was straight though over the years. It just you could tolerate it a lot better when you out there on the field. So it don't really affect me. What? How would you describe your type of play as a corner? I say I'm real, real aggressive, real mm -hmm. physical. Like, yeah, I would, I would just say that them two for sure, because I just go, I like to go dominate. Um, um, I, I'm here to dominate. That's all. Like, I, I just want to beat you down, like all game. So that's just me. What's some of the things that you need to work on, though? Because obviously you're not perfect, but there are mm -hmm. going to be some things that you excelled at that that was easy. You know, mm -hmm. it's like tying your shoe in college. That will not be the case when you get into the National Football League. Um, I think I could improve at a lot of like zone schemes because we didn't run run a lot of zone schemes this past year. So um just no reading reading different route comes up concepts like end zone. Mm -hmm. Um I think that's something that I actually work on like tremendously. Um like I said, since we didn't play a lot of zone, play a lot of man. But um yeah, that and like working on like how how physical I could be like down through the route. I know after five yards you can't really touch him in the uh in No, the you cannot. Uh uh. Yeah. No touching cool. us after five yards. <laughs> four and a half four four and a half yards. We already count. We already telling the ref, hey, hey, he's touching us. <laughs> nah, they make it they making it tough for the corners, man. It's, yeah, already, it's already hard to guard these guys anyway. So um, but yeah, I'll just say working on like within a route, like not being a not really touching them, you know, just guarding them with my, my feet and body present. And that's just something else I just feel like I should work on. You talk about talking mess during the game what was it like feeding off of your teammates because that illinois that whole defense you were you were the the tip of the spear but that whole defense was some dogs so you guys feeding off of each other how did that go now nah, we all feed off each other like we are like when one person make a play like it's feel like everybody made a play so it's just like when like, every time somebody made a play bro it just the whole defense it was like okay he made a play i done made a play so it's like we just you know we just react off each other and trying to one-up each other? Yeah. Um, we just try to – we go out there and compete. Like, we always – we call be greedy for stats, you know? So, it's like, it's like, I had the best stats this game. So he can, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, like, we ain't like to hear that. So, it's like, I want to have the best stats every game. And it's just been out there. And we just competed with each other. But we also just had fun. Like, and it, was, it was dope, though. I, was I've dope. always wanted to ask corners this, and I haven't really had the opportunity because sometimes I just – like, I got so many questions, I forget them. Uh, I got a little uh, uh, ADD myself. So <clears throat> I've always, uh, I've never understood this. So just, just follow me. So you know how when you see a receipt, when a, they throw a pass, and it's a pass that the receiver cannot catch. <laughs> okay. Like the quarterback is clearly, the, he's either thrown it, Short, or he's, you know, he gets hit while he's throwing it, so the ball sails. Mm. And the corner run, the corner doesn't make the tackle. He doesn't have to do a PBU. I've heard people say, hey, Steve, what's a PBU? It is a pass break up, mm -hmm. but the corner does this. <laughs> Incomplete. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, let him know. <laughs> I, I understand it was an incomplete, but let me ask, ask the question the way I have always wanted to say it. It was not a catchable ball. <laughs> Why wasn't it catchable? He was in the way. Why because was the quarterback <laughs> threw it no nine ball. feet like, above my head? He threw it, so it's incomplete. Yeah, it's like. Not on me. <laughs> yeah. Manu Bowl couldn't even yo. catch that pass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bro, you talking about – so I, I have some pet peeves. 
right? I One of my biggest pet peeves is when I ask someone, especially business, when I ask someone business-wise and I send them an email and they go, oh, I was just about to, I was just about to email you. No, you weren't. If you're going to email me, you would have emailed. So that's one. The other is when I see a receiver do that, and the re- when I see a cornerback do that, and the corner had nothing <laughs> to do with that pass. It's an incomplete, man. I, I agree <laughs> with you. Helping out the refs. Yeah, let's make it sure. Know, it, it doesn't matter. Incomplete pass, <laughs> incomplete pass. Whether I had something to do with it or not, it's still an incomplete pass. Yeah. <laughs> if he threw it towards me, yeah. And it was a bad ball or overthrown or he yeah. got hit when he threw it. Yeah. It's incomplete. He shouldn't yeah. have, he shouldn't have looked over there. Okay. <laughs> I okay. I I like the answer. Mm-hmm. But you know what I'm talking I boy, I'm talking you talking about <laughs> eye rolling. <I'm> like, <laughs> respect it, man. You gotta respect it. You gotta I respect can't respect it. an incomplete <laughs> pass that the corner had nothing to do with. <laughs> You know what that'd be like? That'd be like me sitting at the ATM when someone tries to deposit a check, but the deposit area is like bolted down so you can't do it. And I go, Mm-mm-mm. nope. <laughs> <laughs> like, you don't have anything to do with that. <laughs> no, nah, that's a, that's a that's not really a good analogy. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't, but I just had to say something so abstract because I wanted to get your sincere thing, man. Um, talk, so, about some, hey, talk about some of these guys in the draft that you've covered, right? Some of these wide receivers. I know you've been watching. You've been doing a whole bunch of draft stuff. I know you've been interviewing, talking to all these people, right? Uh, C, uh, CIA, uh, CAA has done a great job. I see you guys are pumping you guys up. Um, man, what do you think about some of these receivers that you've covered that are getting a lot of this, if a lot of all of this, this showmanship and the corners, y'all, y'all haven't been getting as much love. I mean, like as a corner, like you really don't, I don't you don't really pay attention to that for real. Like it don't matter. Um, we, we kind of got one of the hardest jobs, like outside of the quarterback on the field. So um, I would, I, whoa, whoa, whoa. One yeah. of the hardest jobs outside of the quarterback. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll just make sure I heard. I thought my, I thought my earpieces were messed up. It was fuzzy. I'm sorry. I just wanted to me- double check. <laughs> nah, they working fire. They working the eyeballs. But now, nah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but now, nah, uh, I mean, I mean, I don't really got nothing, nothing to really say about the receiver that I got. I mean, they they know what it was when we was out there on the field when they was going against me one on one. So. Uh, yeah. They they knew what 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 they was in for. They seen it on tape. So I mean, I just let my film speak for myself. Like, yeah. so what is this pro? What has this process been like for you? Right. T- uh, tell us about some of the guys, that, some of the teams that interviewed you, some of the cool things that you've got to experience. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you've had to experience some kind of like, eh, don't name the team, but just kind of tell us about it because there's a lot. I know there's a lot of things that go on that fans don't get to always see. Right. You can also name the team if you want. Don't, don't listen, listen to him on that. Listen, don't, listen, <laughs> don't listen to Coley. I'm trying to protect you, okay? Yeah. Well, it's them. I can't, can't put no names out there. And, and we're not going to. We will edit it and make sure there are no names as well. I got you, dog. See, that'd, uh, be, the, nah. that'd be the first wide receiver to take care of you. See that? <laughs> yeah. Respect for the respect. So, um, nah, but uh, this process has been real smooth, though. It just really been long, but um, it's been fun. It's just been nice going to different teams, visiting different teams, um, meeting different staffs, um, seeing how each facility is run, like, differently. Like, you think they'd be kind of run the same, but it's mm-hmm. it's not like that at all. Um, it's real different at, <laughs> at a lot of different teams. But um, it's been it's been smooth, though. Um, it's been it's been fun. Like, I really enjoyed this process. Really, really? enjoyed visiting different um, cities, you know, seeing different facilities. It's just been cool, like. Um, just something that you really n- never get to do in life, like ever, <laughs> wow. if you don't really play football. So um, it's just it's been pretty fun. Like, I really just soak it all in. Just so, so tell us some of the some of the facilities that you visit. Uh, I went to Baltimore 
Oh, like that, was one of like, ooh, that that thing was nice, wasn't it? Yeah, that was one. That was like one of like, if not like the best visit I had. You like, you heard that, like Coley? Yeah. <laughs> Huh? What's my, I don't have any anti-Baltimore uh, bias. Co- Coley's a ba- Coley's is a New England Patriots PSL owner, mm-hmm. and so he's uh, he's always saying some slicks all the time. He's always sliding something in there. about like, thirty-one other teams. That's right. Yeah, yes, not just about, one. <laughs> yeah, no, about thirty-one other teams. I wasn't gonna slight you. I was, he he is an equal <laughs> prejudice. Yeah. <laughs> NFL, he's a equal this post, prejudice. Post uh, post judgment. This isn't yeah, pre. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. He's he's listen, if you ain't New England, he don't care about you, right? That's right. So yeah, right t- now, right now you've got uh, no ties. Uh, mm-hmm. In the f- second uh, that first round ends, you're on the other team. It is what it is. So t- I mean, tell us about that. So you got to meet with Hardball. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, he's he's uh, he's interesting. Yeah, he he's a great dude. He's yeah. a great dude. Um, but they got a lot of great people on staff. Like yeah. I really enjoy like um the player engagement people on their team. Like okay. they were they were really they were really genuine. Um they they really down to earth. Like you really don't get that at a lot of different facilities, but um it was a couple of them. They had some really pretty dope uh player engagement people. And I just think that's really like really important for a rookie, you know, coming in, just have that big old transition and they can, and they can help you with a lot of off the field things. Yeah. So um, I think that's pretty cool uh, there, but they just got some really like, you know, they say like tradition never graduates. Like that's something that could define like the Baltimore, like Ravens facility. Like you just tell like things are just in place and just the standards, the standard over there. And that was just pretty dope. That's, that really stood out to me for real. Yeah. So you, you got a chance. So uh, you went in the equipment room, met Kaneko? Mm, I don't think I went in the equipment room. Okay. So yeah, the, the locker room's nice, huh? Yeah, locker room dope though. Locker room dope too. Yeah, locker room's nice. Um uh the cafeteria is pretty good, pretty nice. Oh yeah. Uh so. what are what are some other teams? I don't want to be biased. I want to mm. be biased. Yeah. Uh Seattle. Seattle. Oh, that's um, a nice one. That was um that was one of the, the <laughs> another visit that was just pretty. I was pretty dope for did, sure. Did you go outside onto the practice field where the water is and all that stuff? Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah, I was hey, able to see the water. Coley, I don't know if they can play football in Seattle, but I can tell you, <laughs> they <laughs> damn sure got an outstanding <laughs> yeah. view on the practice field. Yeah, they got they got the view for sure. They yeah. got the view for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, definitely. But um, they had like just their facility. Their facility was um, it was it was one of the best facilities I ever been to for real. Yeah. Um. And you got just seeing a lot of you, you can see it. me uh P. Carroll. Yeah. Uh <laughs> Coach Carroll, man, he he's a funny dude, bro. <laughs> yeah. Why? What did he say? What did he say? No, nah, it's just like he he, he could talk about like a million things, like a million things with like, like five minutes. <laughs> like, it's crazy how he could change subject so fast. Like, he can like, sidetrack Sally like. Like yeah, <laughs> like he'd be like, oh. in between chomps of gum, yeah. <laughs> yes, like he can switch different. He can switch yeah. topics within one topic yeah. so quick. Oh, I found that so funny. Like that's just so funny. To me. That was just so funny. Yeah. Uh, but they got like great pictures of like one of the biggest uh moments in like NFL history and stuff like that. And they were just like pretty dope to see all that around. Mm-hmm. All right, what else? Tell some other. Uh, that one. Um. Uh, the Raiders, the Raiders got the best facility by far. Like I don't think They're it's like they're like, brand new. Yeah. I'd hope so. Yeah, like it's, it's it wasn't even close. <laughs> wow, I haven't, I haven't been yet, so I, I I haven't I haven't been. Okay, yeah, they they facility is pretty dope for sure. Um, but yeah, the great they got great people and staff on uh, on their team as well. Mm-hmm. They view they got a good view too of like the mountains and stuff. Um. And like you can see the really see like kind of the whole area from the facility. Yeah. Yeah. Um so it was just it was pretty dope being out there too. Okay. I don't deal with like my top three though. Mm. Okay. Now so what happens if a team that isn't in your top three uh drafts you? Are you you are you not gonna pick up the phone? What are you what are you gonna do? I'm gonna pick up the phone for whoever <laughs> calls. I'm gonna pick up that phone for whoever calls it. Yeah. <laughs> so take us take us through you're gonna get the call. First of all, where are you gonna be? T- t- let's set all of this up. So, you, where are you gonna be? What's what's your fit goat look like? I was I was gonna ask Who's about the draft night. Who's gonna be around you? Like, what's your favorite food that you need to have in there? 
Like, to, you know, to let us know. Is there like a menu? Is that a carrier menu you get to choose from? What? How does it go? I've never experienced. So I'm 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 living vicariously through you. Okay. Uh, I ain't experienced it either. So like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't what? know. Like we are, we kind of the same boat at the moment. But now nah, I'm gonna be at the draft. I'll be in Kansas City. Okay. On that night. Uh, I'm bringing my family with me as well. Okay. Who's uh, who's in the family? How many people? Okay. Uh, I'm bringing loud, like, so they let me bring ten people. I'm bringing all ten. You got um, oh, so was there a like was there a rock paper scissors deal? How how did you pick the ten? Uh, I kind of knew like who the ten was gonna be anyway. So this it one really nothing crazy. So who's the ten then? I was <laughs> about to get to it. Uh, my mama, my brother, okay. my sister, uh, one of my close friends we grew up with together. He like my brother. Uh, okay. My cousin gonna be there as well. My coach, my two nieces. And my own. Did your mom get to pick somebody else to come with, or you just kind of told her and she let you go? Like, how does how is that working with I mean, the family and everything? Because it's a it's a family experience. Mm -hmm. However, it's your deal. So how are you going to be able to balance? Because this is one of many other events in the National Football League that you're going to be part of, like the Pro Bowl, the Super Bowl, like all of that stuff is you're going to start to experience and it's going to be a cap, a financial cap. Like they give you, you know, seven or 10 and then all the other people, you're going to have to, you're going to have to come out of the pocket. <laughs> yeah. Um, now I was able to pick everybody to really come, but my mom had like a decision on like a couple of people as well. Okay. Um, but we all kind of agreed on the same the same folks, so it, was, okay. it really wasn't a problem or anything like that. So right. it, was, it was it was straight. So what's the fit looking like? What you 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 wearing you you wearing you wearing sleeves on the suit? No sleeves. You wear you letting your navel show? Like, what, <laughs> well, man, like? nah, but hey, we ain't even know no like that. Man. <laughs> uh, nah, I got you. Though you you see on draft night, like, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. It's, not, it's not a loud Pensacola nah. Florida color, is it? Nah. Okay. Nah, we ain't, What's, hold on, hold on. What you oh, mean, like, let's go to Florida? <laughs> I mean, color. I mean, you know, some dudes can't dress, bro. Like, <laughs> like, let's be honest. All this, right, hold on, hold on, hold yeah. on. Yes. You gonna you gonna give an example? Who can't dress? I mean, yeah. I, I give us gonna, a name. I was gonna I, I was gonna name several people. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, let me take out the list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, hey, there's there's, there's old Saint Nick with his naughty list, and then there's yeah. Smitty with his can't dress list. Right? Yeah. Okay, we ain't so get it to it. We ain't got to get it to it. No. Oh yeah, I, I I'll speak with my chest. I don't, I don't have a problem at all. Right? I I'm just talking about. Let's be honest. Don't act like I'm picking on Florida folks. Nah. We all can't dress. <laughs> we got our own swag, man. Yeah, yeah. That That's one way world, to say it. Yeah. That the world has not caught up with yet. We don't need the world to catch up with that, though. The world, the world gonna be themselves. Like, that is we, true. That's we true. as Florida people, yes. we got our own swag, so we you, know what's you do. You, you, you do. You have to have a lot of moxie to wear some of those colors, right? <laughs> um. So, I, and I just mean like, look, I work with Michael Irvin, and Michael Irvin will wear every like. I grew up with about 12 colors in the crayon box. <laughs> Pensacola, Florida folk, they got like all of the colors. Like they got the rich people, they got the rich people box of crayons. You know, the crayons with like all the colors and the sharpener on there. <laughs> like they don't have like green. They got forest green, uh, well, cannabis Yellow green. green. <laughs> they got neon green. They got, nah, they got man, grass mean? green. Uh, Switzerland. Green. I don't know. They just got all kind of colors. They don't have red. They got violet. They don't have purple. It's lavender. Uh, yeah. aqua, br uh, aqua blue. You got, you got to put some of that on there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you just got the, you got all the colors of the rainbow. Mm -hmm. So, so you got the suit. So no navel showing, right? No belly button. All right. Um, sleeves, no sleeves. Sleeves. Okay. Uh, collar, no collar. I don't know yet. Okay. 
It's a couple of more days, bro. You better figure it out. I'm about, I'm about, to, I'm about to get it set out in a okay. little bit. Glasses, no glasses. No, nah, we don't do glasses. We can see. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about sun. You know, there's been some dudes over there with sunglasses. <laughs> We can see, I can see. Cool he said 2020 over here, not a problem. Yeah. <laughs> what a hat? No hat? No hat. Okay. So if you had a hat, you got to have a cane too now, like prom. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> you want out there like iceberg slim. What are you doing? What are you... <laughs> You're going crazy, man. Oh, crazy. man. This is Bandit. He founded Underdog Fantasy so that humans who really love sports could play with their friends and win some big prizes. Tell your human to go to underdogfantasy.com today. Let me ask you this. This is, I mean, it's a whirlwind process. Like he's saying, drafts only a couple days away. Have you taken a moment to really like stop and appreciate like how far this journey's been? Like you leave high school, and correct me if I'm wrong, zero star recruit, one power five offer. You leave Illinois, the most decorated corner in the program's history, and just about a lock. I don't want to jinx it. Just about a lock for a top 10, if not higher. You, you can't jinx it. It's already in, bro. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't like to put bad energy out there. You never know. You never no, know. You t- it's just a confirmation of what we've already known. I've talked to several teams that are love Mr. Witherspoon. I'm talking about like... Oof. As well, they should. But have you been able to actually take a moment, step back, and be like, "Wow, I really, I'm really here now." Yeah, um, I actually kind of did that like yesterday and today. Um, okay. Just trying to soak it all in, just like just looking back over the time, like what do I been through and um, what I came from. It just, it just feel pretty good. Just take take a moment and breathe, and just be like, "Okay, you did a lot." Um, well, take a, take us down memory lane. What have you come through, man? What is the, what has uh, your nah, life come- been? Um, we come, so I grew up in a single parent home. Just my okay. mom was there. Um, my brother, and my sister, and also our cousins stay with each stay with us. Okay. Um, on the two bedroom apartment, so we had to share a lot of stuff. Well, um, we had everything we wanted, but we had everything we needed. So, um, I could just hats off to mom because she made everything happen. Mm. Um, but yeah, that was just really it was really tough on her just doing it all by herself. So. That was really one of the biggest things I had to overcome. But every, I don't really complain. It, uh, it made me who I am today. So it's, so everything will be all right. So what what makes what makes Devin Witherspoon tick in a good way? Not like a ticking time bomb, but just tick of like how you process things. How do you look at the world? You know, you obviously what you experience has had such a is giving you a perspective. Whether it's good or bad, it doesn't matter. You've it's what you've experienced. How do you see the world based off what you experienced growing up and seeing and dealing with what you've dealt with and what your mom has had to overcome and what you had to overcome to get into college and now be a top 10 draft pick heading into the 2023 NFL draft? Mm. Uh, the world can throw a lot of things at you, um, but it's really not about like what it throw at, do it throw at you, it's about how you respond to it. So. Mm. Um, that's really how I look at it. Um, it's a lot of things everybody everybody in life is gonna have to deal with, but it's just not about not about that. It's about how you respond, how you react to it, and just never giving up. Just keep going. So that's I really look at life as a big old challenge for real. <laughs> um, it's gonna it's gonna be tough, but it's just how about can you focus and can you just do what you need to do to get through it? So that's how I really look at it. Did you play Did you play any other sports growing up? Uh, yeah, I played baseball. Ooh, what position? What position in baseball? Pitcher. Oh, okay. Ooh. All right. Pitcher in second base. What's your what's your what's your go to? Uh, what was your go go to pitch there? Uh, two seam. Okay. Oh, so you a real pitcher there? You just wasn't. You wasn't just out nah. there. Nah, I, I, nah. I was. I was really. Okay. I was a real pitcher though. I was. I was kind of legit. So. Kind of legit. So legit, you switch to football. Mm, well, I played all sports. So, it was really, <laughs> so what yeah. position in soccer? You play soccer. What? Uh, like I don't remember all the positions though. Yeah. That's you look like you look like a defender. Ball. You you couldn't play no. You you don't look like you could play midfield. Yeah, I don't know, probably not. Yeah, probably not. 
Yeah. My son plays soccer. That's why that's why I was asking. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I can get up down the field though. I just know I can run I, up and down there. Oh, I bad. know you can I don't <laughs> disagree. <laughs> right? Did you play basketball? Yeah, I played basketball too. What what position? I was a point guard. Yeah. Could you shoot or you just distribute? Uh I couldn't shoot for real back like AAU days, but yeah. I could get to the butt, I could get to the cut for real and get a bucket like anytime I wanted to. So okay. it was like uh, but I really, I was mainly a defender. So yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I wasn't gonna say it, but I'm, just, I'm trying to let you live. You're a young boy, young know, boy. You know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, hey, all good though. No, nah, I just, uh, I like, I like messing around with you, man. I, I know a lot of young guys, even current players uh, that I know, they, they kind of sometimes like, man, what's up with Steve? Like, you know, I, I don't know how he is. And so I, I was talking to a guy the other day. And he he uh, he dapped me up, and he had something in his hand, and he hit me with his left hand, and he mm. was like, "Hey, I didn't mean." I said, "Bro, I'm not as sensitive as I used to be," and he kind of chuckled. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, so I always like uh, I like to mess around and have fun. Um, yeah. But let's flip let's flip the script. We're gonna flip the script. Yeah, yeah. fun's over. Fun, yeah. fun is over. <laughs> Where you are today. It's crazy. I'm in transition. I'm for, I'll be 40, I'll be 44 in a few weeks. And I can almost get emotional thinking about what, what you are going to experience. And instead of me talking about what I experienced, what do you want to know for me to get prepared? to head into the NFL. You, I, I believe you could be better than me. I, I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh, I've experienced this and so, but I just wanna, I wanna give you an opportunity to ask me because we're both two different people, two different positions, but we mm. both have had and want, to, and, and want to have the desire to excel and be respected among our peers but also our foes and our teammates, but also guys who don't cover you or guys who will you will cover. So w- w- go ahead and shoot some things at me that hopefully I can answer or it just be fun to kind of reminisce because I was, I was in your position 20 years ago and I've, I've forgotten what this process is like. And it's been really cool to talk to some of the young guys to remember that transition. That transition, I would say before you asked me the first question, I could tell you this. Man, stop and smell the roses. Enjoy this moment because you will never be drafted again. But also to allow the, your family members to enjoy this moment with you. Because... Sure. They will never experience this again. You will have more days behind you after you get drafted than you will ahead of you because there's a draft in 2024 and they're going to be trying to replace you. And I hate to say it that way, but it is like some young guys today are going to, they're going to, whoever team you go to, somebody, some corner going to be like, Oh, are they trying to take, they, they trying to tell me something. Yeah, they are trying to tell you something that they hope he's better. No, nah, I was just saying, like, what, what, um, you know, coming in as a rookie, like, what, what is one of the biggest mistakes like rookies kind of make within that first year of getting to like the NFL? Now, you, you, did you Google me? Cause you know, I, I made all the dumb mistakes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's a loaded question right there. Like, how much time you we know got? What I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, back look, in the hey, day. look, this is how many mistakes I had. Look, all my hair gone. See? <laughs> That's a lot of mistakes, man. <laughs> Goodness gracious. No, that, man. Hey, that's what hey. you, hey. you keep on that hat. Yeah. Hey, no, no. Nah, nah. Actually, I've been wearing hats since I was like seven years old. I don't know he why. said, I'm going back to baseball. Yeah, I don't he's know, over there. <laughs> yeah. like, hey, you didn't know I was you didn't know I was ball headed? No, nah, I didn't know that, man. Yeah, know that. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but see, when you said handsome, hey, this ain't little bit bad, boy, right there. It's, hey, that thing, fr- look. Hey, what's funny, and listen here, dude, what's funny is- He couldn't I, like, believe it. 
Hey, sometimes when I like when I'm lazy, like I haven't been, I've been, I've just been growing my beard out because I'm lazy. Yeah. And like, so my hair will grow right here, right? But that thing right here, that, that thing, uh, that's a private plane landing strip right there. That thing. Yeah. So, so one day, so I got, a, I got a little junior, and uh, he's he he turns nine in uh, July, and one day I didn't grow it, I wasn't shaving. He go, Daddy. I said, What's up, dog? He goes, What you trying to do up there? <laughs> I said, What you mean? He said. You don't have no hair up top. Won't you just shave it? And I said, you know, I, hey, little ninja, chill out, dog. <laughs> but um, no, nah, I, I would say the I would say the the one thing that the the multiple mistakes I made my ju my friend uh, junior, but my rookie year, um, I was on a veteran team, so I made the mistake of. I came in trying to prove that I belong. When I didn't need to prove I belong, I needed to prove that I was willing to learn. And I had to learn the hard way. So I, I at times I kind of isolated myself. I put myself in a predicament between the veterans that at times where when I needed veterans during the season, they kind of hung me out to dry because I did it to myself. Mm. And once I figured out to shut up, now I'm still trying to figure that out to this day. But once I figured it out to shut up, man, I realized that those guys are no different than me. They just have a lot more experience. And if I'm willing to listen, I can save myself a lot of heartache. The other part, learn which veterans that are to help you and learn which veterans can't even help themselves. So be a great, you from Pensacola, I'm from LA, you from Pensacola and I just mean in this, every city, every town has a poor section. And the one thing that I know I, I feel like that I've benefited by growing up poor, growing up with less than. I grew up, um, my mom was a single mom. I went to, to my dad, uh, to my dad's house on the weekends, right? So my dad was in my life, but he was, you know, it was on the weekend. And my mom mm -hmm. dealt with me during the week. And I believe my superpower is reading people. And I, at times I would talk, but I was saying stuff a lot of times to see how they respond to kind of really give, you know, to have that in my Rolodex of information. Yeah. Okay, let me, how, how do I poke this bear? How do I poke this kitten? How do I poke this Rockwaller? Who's the Chihuahua? Who's this, you know, who, who's, the, who's the silverback monkey? Who's the, who is the guy who runs the locker room, right? And I'm and I'm giving you advice on, man, watch those guys because there's going to be some players that you can watch that you have no idea. Ha they have great intentions for your life to help you. And then there are some people that have zero intentions because they have their own agenda. And you, you can be part of the reason that they are, they exit because of your, your young, I hate to say it this way, you're cheaper right? Fresh legs. You're going to give that team a boost at a, at a lower cap hit. Mm -hmm. And so learn how to read people because sometimes it's not about skill, bro. It's about where you've drafted. And it's also about where that team is and their perspective, right? It's perspective of whether it's the general manager, it's the guy who stood on the table for you. Mm. So, does that make sense? Is it not that for sure? That doesn't. I I don't mean to make it sound scary, but you're dealing with people. Yeah, nah. It's it's real life though. So, 
or rather you give it to me raw right now instead of like no 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 fun shit. <laughs> no, no, yeah no yeah i got you no that's uh, i got you <laughs> uh but yeah not right just keep it keep it g yeah. uh another, another question is like as a receiver like yeah. since you watched the film and stuff like oh uh, yeah yeah what ways would you attack me to beat me? Because I never really kind of looked at it from their perspective. Yeah, that's a, that's a fantastic question. I, and uh, uh, if I were playing you, now I'm going to show you. This paper is blank, right? Yeah. So I don't have nothing on here. I'm going to keep it just like this. You ready? So what did I say my superpower is? Reading people. All right, you ready? All right, you're a physical corner who really believes in his physicality. Because you're physical, you also, at times, I like to use the word cement feet. So you are gonna hunker down and you're gonna establish that you are immovable, right? Mm. So the first play is most likely gonna be a run play because I'm gonna tell them, hey, Let's not get a pass on a run play. So the first run play, you're going to jam up because you want to establish you're the big dog, right? You're going to establish that you will impose your will on me, right? Mm. I'm going to tell you that the demon inside of me ain't got nothing. Your demon in you, don't, don't even try it. Because my first play is you're going to be pressed up right there, and I'm going to put my head right there, and I'm going to lift my head up, hopefully popping you in your chin to let you know for the next 73 plays, I'm getting your ass, boy. Pause. And then you, now you're going to say it's going to be a fist fight. Now you're ready for a fight. And then the next play, because you're going to get up even closer, and now you're going to try to lunge and quick jam me with both hands. Am, am I close? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> right? So here's what I would tell you. Rely less on your physicality and use your mind. I would tell you to back up instead of pressing forward. Because we all know you can cover. We all, I would say, rephrase that. We all know you can press. But my question is to you, can you consistently cover someone? So don't rely on your physicality, man. Rely on your mind. Because at some point in your career, you're going to wake up and you ain't going to be as fast as you used to be. Or you're going to wake up and your hamstring is a little bit tighter than it used to be. Mm. And so you don't want to find yourself in your seventh year realizing, bro, I ain't got the juice that I used to have. So learn this game from the inside out. Learn this game like a woman. And when I say a woman is, find out what your favorite color is. Like find out what, what makes you go, what is inside of you that you fell in love with this game with. So when you leave this game, you can watch this game and you can hear this game and you don't even have to watch the game. What I mean is I can listen to a game sometimes and that tells me what's going on. Does that make sense? Yeah, a little bit. Kind of follow. You might have to reword it. Mean, yeah, don't rely on your athleticism to pay your bills. Learn how to read your own bank account. Know your own scout report on yourself. Because every defender, all the guys that you're going to go against, there's a scouting department. And they're going to have a write-up on you. Mm. He's this, he's that, he's this, he's that. But what benefit if, you're, if your opponents know what your weaknesses are and you don't even know what your weakness is? Right. Master your craft. So when guys, when guys try you, you already know what they're going to try. 
right? Like there's some corners I've done research on where they're not very fast. Nothing wrong with that. It's we got to measure your speed. Mm. But you can't measure how a guy turns his hips or not. You know, I watch guys like even when they're warming up, I watch when they're cold and when they're and when they're warmed up, I want to know, OK, is their right hamstring or left hamstring tighter than the other? <laughs> what? You can see that from people warming up. You have you haven't watched people walk. You can see somebody yeah, with a walk. Yeah, that's, bro, that's cold. When you see somebody get out of the car and walk and you see that little, oh, and then the first thing they say, they go, oh, you, mean you got that trick me, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's where you go. And so that trick knee, once it get warmed up or you get hit in it and they and they don't pop up with the same enthusiasm, do they? Right, yeah, nah. Right? I give you, uh, you played against Charlie, uh, Charlie Jones from Purdue. Mm. Mm -hmm. right? Okay. Man, excellent route runner. I watched your film on him. You know, the closer you get on him, the more and more he dances. Mm -hmm. And the more and more he dances, who does that play in the hands of? Me. Exactly. That's just me watching film. I don't have to be at the game, I don't have to know the play call. I don't even need to know if they're running the ball to your side or not. Because I've learned and watch enough film on guys that unfortunately I could put everybody in the category but it also gives me reference to, to go back to to be able to build up my data and it ain't nothing on this paper. I, I was when you were doing the paper thing earlier, I, I really did think you were going to do a magic trick of some sort. No, nah, man. Ain't no damn I thought magic. you'd be like, watch this. Bang. Full yeah. scouting report. <laughs> nah, nah. You know why I don't have a full scouting report on him? Why? Because then I'll have to read it, and then I'm going to lose credibility with him because then he's going to be like, man, he's just like the rest of them, bro. He, all he's doing is reading off a of paper. But if it were blank and then it was a full scouting report, you would definitely have some more credibility. Yeah, but... I mean, hell, I'm five nine. I've already showed people I got. I'm a magician. <laughs> hocus, <That's true>. hocus. <laughs> <laughs> Real All quick, right. well, yeah. when <laughs> man, at the end of the day, you gonna you gonna you gonna be in the top ten, man. Tell us a few more minutes, and tell us some of the things that you just envision for yourself. That you get to be a kid, right? At the end of the day, you're gonna be a, you get to you get to play a kid's game for a king's ransom. I know you didn't thought about some things that you're gonna purchase, or just like you know what, like, man, I want a vehicle, right? I, you know, and I'm not saying like throwing out throwing out your business, but man, tell us some of the things that you really want to do with your career now. You know that that is outside of football. Uh, hey, that's kind of something I don't really need to get both out for. Real. No, I probably. Oh, say, you um, haven't thought of you haven't thought about. No, nah, I have. No, nah, I have, and I have. Um, I probably get to like in, like sports broadcasting, something like that. Yeah, um, it ain't what it's all. It ain't what it's up cracked up to be, bro. Though. I know it's, 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 it seemed like more of me though, like because I, like I said, we like, I like to talk a little smack. So, okay, yeah. you know, as all is said and done, you feel me? Maybe I can yeah. continue doing that, you know? Yeah. Okay. Um, but now nah, that's that's one of the things I could probably see myself doing for real. Um, I heard I was thinking about coaching, but then I, I asked a lot of coaches, and they were like, "Yeah, it's not really." <laughs> hey, that coach, that I'm gonna tell you, I <laughs> I was me. I met with a team a couple of weeks ago. Um, out outside of North Carolina, and bro, I was like, man, this coaching stuff, man, I'm straight. Mm -mm, yeah, this is for the birds. <laughs> yeah, they they says it's more than more it's more than they asked for. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah. uh, what about something to think? Like you, do you want to take a trip? You you gonna buy how? You know, you gonna buy a car for your mom? Like think what what is? Nah, I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do something for my mom, and my family, and stuff like that. Okay. But, um. 
they they know they know uh yeah, yeah. <laughs> they got something in store coming that's great like that. what about traveling you want to travel see the world get a passport yeah. do you have a passport no i ain't got a passport oh well you ain't going nowhere then if you ain't got no passport <laughs> yeah, sure. i ain't going nowhere fine see that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm gonna get one though for sure. Now, there's a couple places I want to go. Oh, where? Where? Like where do you want to go? Uh, no judgment. Always... No judging over here. No judging. Well, <laughs> depends where you say. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna keep that to myself then. Man. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> See, I always want to say Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia? <laughs> what? <laughs> No, I'll keep that well, to my well, No, 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 no. Where you want to go? Like the yeah. Caribbean, Mexico. No, I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably go to like the Caribbean or something okay. like that. Uh, Italy. I don't know, man. I watched Taken, and I ain't really sold on Italy no more. Man, everybody man. taking your hey, dark skin, <laughs> self, boy. <laughs> I'm just telling you. <laughs> First of all, you ain't. Uh, I hate to say it, you ain't attractive. Nobody's taking yeah. you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no one. Look, they take you. Look, hey, we got Devin Witherspoon, Steve. Yeah. We need a hundred. We need a million dollars. Hey, that, that's all. <laughs> that's, that's all you think I worth? Huh? That's all you think I worth? A million dollars? That's it. You, you said hundred. You ain't said hundred. Child, look. I'm here. Here's, here's what they gonna do, right? Oh, where my phone at? Hey, we got we got Devin. We need we need ten million dollars. You ready? What? <laughs> what <laughs> 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 you crazy? Man. Hey, listen. Here's why. Here's why. I'm a, I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw a monkey wrench in there that is gonna blow your mind. It's gonna blow your mind. Pause. Here we um, go. So you you were in Illinois. You've been in Chicago, bro. Deep dish pizza is not great, is it? <laughs> yeah. It, exactly. Eh. Boy, oh boy, the pizza in Italy, dog, it is <laughs> outstanding. It's like it's like that. It's, it's uh, really like yes, that. that's where pizza started. Okay, okay, shoot. <laughs> well, man. Is- that- Hey, dog! I'm telling you, I am telling you. Are you getting a check from the Italy tourism board? What's what's the push for Italy? Man, I just I, I'm a food guy. Like I only work out That's to true. eat. Like I work out. I this morning I woke up, I was watching some film, and I'm just it. I got a Peloton bike, and I'm just going. Sixty seven minutes. I was on a bike, and I went sixteen, almost seventeen miles. Okay. I got a meeting later today after these two interviews. Bro. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> it's the weekend, dog. Listen, I mean, I do all that and don't even get on the bike. Like, who are you telling? <laughs> 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 I don't know what to say with that, Coley. No, nah, it, it's just the truth. Real quick, because uh, right now I know, I know right now most of the people tuning in yeah. are fans of the team that just drafted you. It's Friday. Folks are searching Devin Witherspoon, trying to learn everything they can about you. Tell your new fan base directly what they can expect from you. That's a good one, Coley. <laughs> uh, now you get the somebody to come in, just work hard, just Feel me? Just try to impact my team on any way I can, for real. Um, I'm gonna be all about the place that I'm at. Um, just go out, get my get my all every time I'm out there, and just try to help my team get wins. Just bring a lot of bring a lot of fans to the stadium. Ooh. You know, just put on the show for you guys. So just be ready to tune in. All right. Hey, you got to shout out your agent, man, Reggie. Shout out to my dog Reggie for sure. Like he already know. <laughs> he already know what it is. Like he's already. Me and him, that my dog for sure. He know ain't got to really do too much for real. Cause shout out to him for sure, cause he do a lot of stuff on under, under the radar that don't nobody know about. You feel me? Yeah, that's good. Cool. He handle a lot of, lot of, a lot of noise, a lot of BS stuff that go on. So yeah. Well, shout out to my, uh, shout out to my dog Reggie well, Johnson. For sure. Well, listen, being part of this the CA 
the CAA family, man. It's been an honor and a privilege that you've been on the Cut to a Podcast. I look forward to watching you, unfortunately, lock down a lot of receivers this year. And, you know, I work Thursday night. So when I'm at Thursday night in my L.A. fit, I'll holler at you, see how you're doing, man. And we'll, we'll, do, a, we'll do a little post on social media, but let me tell you, I've had a fantastic time, not just on this podcast, breaking down film and talking to teams about how special you are. And, man, it's going to be a fantastic, extraordinary time watching you play corner for years to come. Appreciate it. Appreciate that for sure. I appreciate you, bro. Thanks for uh, giving me your time, man. God bless you. Of course. And, hey, don't party too hard after you get drafted, all right? Yeah, I'm going to try, man. I'm going to try. Good to it. Good to it. Let's get down to it. Good to it. Good to it. Good to it. Let's get down to it.